So would you please make welcome Miss Lacey Snyder.
Y'all give a big hand for this band up here. Aren't they doing a great job all night? My goodness. So good to be on the Music City Hayride. I'm going to do you an original song called Smoky Mountain Living. I hope you like it.
Way to go, Lacey. Lacey Snyder. Well, it's time to bring out the producer of the Music City Hayride. He's also the president of Colt Records, a member of the Traditional Country Hall of Fame, 2009 Texas CMA Entertainer of the Year, J.K. Coltrane. Yeah. Thank you. 
This next young lady that we're bringing to center stage has won numerous awards in her career, including Female Vocalist of the Year. She records with Century Two Records and has had several records in the top 10 independent country music charts. Please welcome Donna Cunningham.
for me and my boots can tumble them down. Before you guys play this, I just want to say thank you. This grand is this band is something else to sing with. And I appreciate it so much. And they're all pretty cute too if you look real close. <laughs> And backup singers, thank you, girls. You do a great job. Ready? Yeah, old Patsy Klein one here coming for you. www.musiccityhayride.com the website for this show right here and like I said you can order your tickets online and find out who the guests are on the upcoming shows and the dates this next gentleman is a former MGM recording artist frontman for the Narvel Feltz show and he also was a frontman for Lobo Besides all that, he was a regular on the Ralph Emery television show. None other than Kenny Earl. And right there he is, ladies and gentlemen.
Thank you very much. Song made famous by the fabulous drifters with the fabulous uh, Betty King out front singing. Passed away about six months ago. We'll do this in his memory. Also from the great Mickey Gill. this song around for a long, long time, and finally uh, Jack Green recorded it, and Mickey Van Shelton, I hope you like it, our rendition of Statue of a Fool. Listen to these words. One, two, three, four, one.
on RCA Records, but it all started with a, well, what I call a wham doodler of a record. I guess you could even call it your signature song. Like he said backstage, his most popular public song when you mention the name Razzie Bailey. And it was called 9,999,999 Tears to Cry. <laughs> Razzie Bailey.
y'all go down to Mrs. Potts pit to his for a while. So they went down to Mrs. Potts pit in a little while. The mama looked up and saw him sliding back across the yard. She said, all right. Said, what, what happened, kids? Said, I sent y'all down to Mrs. Potts pit to his. <laughs> and Mrs. Potts told me, they said, that uh, to go back our, to our own uh, pit and his. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> and Mama said, I can't believe she did that because I can remember when Mrs. Potts didn't have a pit to hiss in. <laughs> this was our first number one on RCA and I hope you remember it. In fact, I hope I do. <laughs> Finally, it was a little frog just talking away. He 
picked up the frog and put it in his pocket. And the frog said to him, said, if you'll make, if you'll marry, I mean, if you'll let me, I'll turn into a beautiful lady and be your wife. He didn't pay any attention to him. He just kept on walking around with a little frog in his pocket. Frog said, I don't think you heard me. He said, if, um, if you'll let me, I'll turn into a woman and be a beautiful bride for you. And he says, I believe I'd have a, rather have a talking frog. <laughs>
Texas with your host, Johnny Lawford. Stay tuned.